Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Sherrylation. This video is somewhat of a continuation of the first video that I posted a little while back, which um, details out and shows my beautiful small Lueve puzzle bag. This is in the small size in the color uh, Sand Dune. I keep forgetting the actual color name. I have it in the video that I posted a while back and I'll provide it again down below. Um, but this is, the, yes, the small size Loewe puzzle bag, which I have um, enjoyed using for quite some time now. And I purchased this back in 2020 when I was traveling to London for work. And it's held up beautifully. I really love it. it it's a very functional and user-friendly bag, very special. Um, in terms of the design and shape, you don't see this anywhere else besides with Lueve. And that video, um, I've gotten many, many views. So I was actually quite surprised that many of you love this bag as well. There were a lot of um, very lovely comments and I thought it would be useful just to share with you what fits inside based on the things that I use uh, on a pretty much a daily basis, what I usually carry out with me and as well as a potential strap hack to resolve or fix some of the issues that I complained about in my first video about this particular loop um, being kind of loose and not staying in place. So we'll do that in this video as well. So very quickly, I won't go through the details of the bag because I do that in um, my previous video, but I just wanted to show what potentially fits based on things I typically carry. Now I do have two boys, um, age 12 and 14, so they typically don't really have anything that they make me carry, but occasionally there will be a one or few, one or two items that they would just try to shove in my bag. So that's trying to factor all of that as well. Okay, so let's start with some of the must-haves that I always, always carry with me. Um, if the bag is big enough, I would always carry my mini pochette, which inside has a bunch of different items like sunscreen, hand, um, hand cream, a lip balm, some eye drops, uh, some wipes, and maybe some headache medicine, which is down below. So this item usually always comes with me unless I'm carrying like my Chanel walk or a, a bag smaller than the actual mini pochette or if the mini pochette takes up too much of that space, I won't include that. And I will just take items out from the mini pochette and put it in that smaller bag. So I carry this. I featured this in a, in a previous video as well. This is part of the Hermes uh, Trio envelope. This is the middle size. I do separate a lot of my cards. Um, I just find it easier to just grab a smaller card holder like this one, which I'm using for my driver's license, my daily cards that I use, like one or two credit cards that I'm always using. So this comes with me as well. Now, if I'm carrying a smaller bag, I will forego this one and maybe take the necessary cards from here and bring it with me here. So this, as I said, doesn't really fit a whole lot. I won't show the contents just for privacy purposes, but it just has the essential cards that I use along with my driver's license. So this comes with me as well. This one I use to carry other cards like insurance cards, health, um, the vaccination cards for my kids, some cash, and that goes in here. I rotate this with the yellow one uh, because I just want to use all my items. That's really why, but this is bigger. And for a bag of this size, you can see it will fit comfortably and it's very slim. So it really doesn't take up a lot of space. So I would probably put this all the way in the back here. And you can see there's still room to spare up on top. So I kind of do it in size order. Okay, so these are sort of the wallets that contain um, my credit cards and whatnot. This is a very inexpensive little coin purse. I use it as a coin purse. It can fit credit cards, but I just put coins in here. And I, I usually carry this. Uh, sometimes we still do use cash 
and it's just convenient to get you know put the change in here or if I have something I'm buying for like five dollars and thirteen cents I don't want to have a lot of change back so I would try to use up my change here this is my Louis Vuitton uh, six key holder where I hold my house keys I don't always need this because uh, when we're driving we can usually use the garage door opener and then go in from the garage that way but in the event I do need it I would stand this up like that so you see it's all sort of like a little Tetris game so I put that in the back these are very convenient little pack of tissues. I got this at Daiso. So if you have a Daiso near you, I would totally recommend you go visit there sometimes because there's nice little um, household items. You, if you know Daiso, you know they have pretty much everything. And I was looking for a convenient pack of um, tissues just to bring with me. And these are very lightweight. Um, they can probably even fold like this in half. And so I would just pop that in. It can even fit in my mini pochette, but I just wanted to show for the sake of this video that it can also fit in here. Sunglasses. Now that it's getting warmer um, in, in New York, the sun is coming out. I have these pair of polarized uh, Ralph Lauren sunglasses that I just put in this very flexible cloth-like material case and I would lay it on top on top of um, all these items like this. This is easy access. Um, I never really carry this, but I just wanted to show every item or potential item that people might carry to in their bag. So this is a, a planner from Muji. Um, it's just a, a standard planner with, you know, the day, the, the week and any notes that you need to put in. I often use the calendar feature to just plan out uh, what's going on with my kids' schedule, school activities, you know, games, concerts, whatnot. So this is a just a, 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 a any old kind of planner. I would put this all the way, all the way in the back because chances are you probably don't need to access it all the time. It's just something you would need with you. And of course, we're still in the days of needing hand sanitizer. Honestly, it's probably going to stay this way for a while. I would bring one or one of these. And given the size of this bag, you can see both fit. Um, so either one would fit, but let's just max it out and try and put both in. So it will stand up very nicely. Because of the other items here, these would stand up and they won't kind of tip over or lay flat, but I would never really have to carry two hand sanitizers. This is just, just to show in this video. And if you have kids that have cell phones, you know that these items are very precious to them. I usually make them carry, that, carry this on their own. So these are um, external uh, power banks. So this is a very small one by Anchor. It is literally the size of my hand the palm of my hand so it's very small and compact this is heavier literally like a brick um, of course can power more devices because it's more powerful but i just wanted to show in this video that these can fit as well so i'll probably put this in the back let's see if it will fit standing up probably not i probably have to lay it flat but let's just try let's put this right here it does stand up pretty nicely i would probably put this like in the back corner somehow but it does fit and even this will fit this can probably lay like on top or even stand next to it if i like take one san hand sanitizer out actually i could probably fit all of this like so as well as the sunglasses and with the power banks, you of course need a charging cable. So I would probably put this like in the, the back pocket like that. And it fits nicely. This will end up being quite a heavy bag, but I just wanted to show you the potential of what can fit in this very unique and beautiful bag. 
in terms of the cell phone, I'm actually filming with my personal cell phone. This is my work phone. It's an iPhone 7, so of course it's smaller. It's shorter in height. I have the um, iPhone 12 Pro, not the Max. And I just wanted to show that it does fit the 7. It peeks out like this not too bad it, even if you tilt it like this i mean it, it it will still always peak up but i like to put my cell phone here even my 12 max of course that will stick up a little bit more but it's easy access if you don't have like a jacket pocket um, or uh, your back pocket to your jeans this is another way that i typically use the bag to put my cell phone so it's very heavy very very packed almost to the fullest. It can zip without a problem, but you can see it It really packs a ton and it keeps its shape. It's perfect just to carry everything you need. Okay, so that's just to show the potential of what can fit. I really don't carry all of this. Um, like I said, these, you know, like power banks, I make my kids carry it on their own, but I just wanted to show what could potentially fit. I usually would carry, um, I'll, I'm gonna take out the things that I don't carry in my bag and just show you like what I normally use. I don't really need my keys these days because like I said, we enter through the garage and the garage, the door from the garage has like a keypad that we just punch in a code and open the door. So I don't really bring that. Um, I don't bring the planner. I don't bring two hand sanitizers, so let's just keep the bigger bottle in here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I would carry these items and my sunglasses. So that so then you can see it slouches a little bit more and it doesn't, you know, bulk up to its full like square shape. So that's kind of what it can fit to its highest potential. And you can see it does really fit a lot. Now on to the second portion of the video. I've been trying to play with different ways to fix this issue that I have. Like I said in my first video, this loop is very loose. Now I don't know if it's because it's my bag in particular, the way this particular loop was uh, made, like the, the strap, it's the, the loop itself was too too much, like too much material. Uh, but it does annoy me sometimes because I like to carry this on my shoulder when I, when I put it on like this uh, in, the, in the shortest setting um, and as like a shoulder bag. And I usually like carry it like this when I'm like leaving the car. I hold the bag like this and I use the shoulder option. And I know I can convert this to a crossbody strap. Um, I haven't done that yet because I have crossbody bags and when I want to use a shoulder bag, I usually grab this. So this often somehow comes undone where this part of the strap just comes off and then I'd be left with like the strap like this dangling which is kind of annoying because you see it falls all the way to the bottom and unless I have something to secure this it will always do that it's not a huge huge problem and it doesn't prevent me from using the bag or enjoying it but it's just a an inconvenient thing some of you have told me um, like you put like double-sided tape, uh, which I kind of a little f afraid to do because I don't want to ruin the leather. I don't know if it will, but I thought about maybe putting um, some something like maybe a small piece of double-sided tape underneath here to take up the space to keep this in place. Haven't tried that yet, but I wanted to show you something that I was thinking about and which I found. Um, I have these two pieces of string. This is just a black string, nothing special. This is an elastic uh, silver, like somewhat like a hair tie, but it's not a hair tie. It came with one of those um, packages that I bought online. Like I think it came from like, let's say like a Jo Malone uh, package. And it, you know, it comes beautifully boxed up and it sometimes has these kind of uh, ties to secure the box. So I thought I would just show this on the video, get your thoughts on whether this would work. Does it look weird? 
So I would thread this in into the uh, the last hole like this and then use the other side sort of wrap it around actually wrap wrap both sides around like this uh, how did I do it before I, I did it and then I undid it because I wanted to show it on this video okay ah like this and wrap it around and then thread it again like so so this way you have like this silver tie sort of wrapped around the strap so on the inside it will look a little funny but it it keeps this in place so it keeps the straps together like this and then this part, even if it moves up or down, even if it comes undone, I will still have this piece sort of secured. So my way of doing this is tying it together like this, and then maybe kind of like doing a, a knot like this to keep that piece in place, like this. And then I'll have this knot like that. Um, Hopefully this will keep, stay in place. And then this would, I would cut this part off just to make it shorter so I don't have this piece dangling. And then if I flip the strap over like this, it, I would, it will just look like I have this silver bar over here, or maybe I can even cover it. I don't think it will cover it because this part is in the way. I could tuck the knot underneath um this little loop to take up that space and then that could probably work and keep um its position and not move around so if i tuck it all underneath you see i tucked this cord underneath this imagine i cut this piece off and if i tuck it more like this um it can work it's not fully tucked right now but it more or less you can see the knot underneath here has taken up that little extra space and this could potentially work if I just tuck this little piece underneath cut this off and then my strap will stay in place I hope because it to move this now I would really have to like tug at it to get it off of the knot so what do you think if I use a cord like this this is flexible like it has some elastic elasticity to it this is just a regular like cord or rope i could do the same thing with this um and thread it through the same way and it's black so even if it peeks through at least it's kind of matching the glazing what do you think of this hack do you think i should go for it i mean it won't harm the bag i don't think it may stretch this out a little bit but honestly this is already loose so i don't see how much more it can stretch it out and um, let me know if, if you think this is a good idea. I will probably give this a shot since I have this on anyway and try to, you know, have the loop cover this and see if this works out for me as I use the bag a couple of times. So thanks for watching this video. It's a little bit long, but I hope this gives people an idea of a potential way to fix this problem. I will report back if it, if it does work out for me. And if you have other ideas, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I will try it out as well. And I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below if you have any questions, comments, or anything. Feel free to contact me through DM or through IG as well. So thanks. Um, that's it for me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay happy and healthy, everyone. Bye.